so uh, you, I'm here to conduct the annual review of the and consideration of the statement of understanding between the staff of NHGRI and the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research, fondly known as the Council MOU. Uh, this document uh, spells out the review of grant applications, which applications you'll look at, uh, which ones will bring for you, uh, before you for individual consideration, what we'll otherwise do as an on-block vote. It also has a section on staff administrative authorities that spells out the various supplemental awards that staff can make. The only change recommended this year is to incorporate the MSTP program, which is the Medical Scientist Training Program. This program was reviewed at the May Council, May 2011, uh, because we had the first trainee slot that came up in that uh, program that NHGRI was asked to fill. So that appears, and I can read that section if people want to know what the difference is. The Medical Scientist Training Program, MSDP, this program is a collaboration between the NIH's Intramural Graduate Partnership Program and NIGMS's Extramural Medical Scientist Training Program. The Intramural Program pays for the Thesis research conducted at NIH and participating NIH institutes and centers co-fund extramural training slots on NIGMS's MSTP training grant to pay for program participants to complete their medical education. NHGRI will support up to new, two new trainees per year. The commitment to the number of trainees will be reviewed periodically and decisions made based on NHGRI's anticipated budgetary situation. Um, you approved the one in May, and we said that we would bring it uh, forward and incorporate it into our MOU, and we've done so. Any questions? Two per year, and how long is the funding? I didn't. I wasn't sure. Is that for the whole? It, it can vary, but I think it, three to five years is normal. Are there any other questions? That is what it said. Up, up to. Hey, hold on. If you have two and it's three or four years, and you're going to have two for three or four years, and then. <laughs> up to two total. Up to two total. Yes, I agreed. Okay. If there's no further questions. We're good. So the last. The last two items actually refer to closed session. They have to do with confidentiality and conflict, but for probably historical reasons, we do this in open session. So I'm going to remind the council members that uh, what well, we're going to defer that till tomorrow, right? Okay. So uh, council members are reminded that material furnished for review purposes and discussion during the closed portion of the meeting is considered confidential. The content of discussions taking place during the closed session may be disclosed only by the staff and only under appropriate circumstances. Any communication from investigators to council members regarding actions on applications must be referred to the institute. Tell us if someone contacts you. Any attempts by council members to handle questions from applicants could create difficult and or embarrassing situations for the members, the institute, or the investigators. All right, that's confidentiality. Conflict of interest. Advisors and consultants serving as members of public advisory committees such as this council may not participate in situations in which any violation of conflict of interest laws and regulations may occur. Responsible NHGRI staff shall assist council members to help ensure that the member does not participate in and is not present during the review of applications or projects in which, to the member's knowledge, any of the following has a financial interest. The member, his or her spouse, minor child, partner, including close professional associate, or any organization with which the member is connected. To ensure that a member does not participate in the discussion of, nor vote on, an application in which the member is in conflict, a written certification is required. That's the document that was in the blue folders. Uh, inside each council member's folder, uh, you should read it carefully, sign it, and return it to us before you, or you leave. Does anyone still have that document? All right, just leave it on your table. And we'll collect it and we'll take a census and make sure we have a copy. All right, so I think we're going to adjourn. Just leave it right there, okay? Drop it. Drop it. And you'll be, and it will be DNA tested.
Um, we're going to reconvene here at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, please remember to have your breakfast before you show up. You know. Okay. Again tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for a long Bye -bye. day. Appreciate it.